Chats, the Chow Chin Chows, Jinx Beats, Game Sing, Your Kitchen Chester Chin Chows, and welcome to week eight of the IBL. This week we are taking on Heavy, a metal Pokemon, and of course his Colorado Mamoswine. I mean, and before we get into this battle, I want to uh, mention about uh, two weeks ago, in week six, I make a terrible video about uh, my week six battle with. Um, uh, with Tone and his Miami Malamarians, I can say it now, and uh, yeah, basically I make assumptions that are not true, and I am very, very sorry about those assumptions. A link in the description to the re-recording of that battle. It is back up. It is back up on the channel now, and I am formally apologise to every coach in the IBL, especially Tone for my performance in that battle and the commentary on that battle based on those assumptions. So I'm sorry. Me. There we go. I said it. Anyway, today uh, we have uh, a Cantorian Sound Slash, Blaziken, Malamar, uh, Manaphy, uh, we have uh, Vileplume, and we have Mega Electric, and we are taking on a Lolan Persian we are taking on Arcanine, Mega Agron, Topokoku, Zygarde 10% and Claydol. And I'd, before I'd like to get into this match, I'd like to thank two people. First off, I would like to thank Gudra Dragon for uh, helping me build this team. He did co He's been doing a little bit of coaching with me uh, off screen and we've become quite good friends. I actually... Uh, he's actually become quite good friends with me since doing the trade, and uh, I'm really happy. Shoutouts to him. He's done a he's he's an amazing coach, and he's helping he's helping me turn my season around. Hopefully, we, because uh, now maybe I might be able to figure a few things out. Now after this match, I might be able to figure a few things out, and I should be thanking the person who gens my mons too. So I should probably get their name up as well. So. Let me do that. So let me uh, let me get their name up as well. So I'd like to thank Pokemaster Mike for genning my uh, for genning my ro uh, for genning my mons as well. There we go. I said his name. So thank you to Mike for genning my mons. Anyway, let's get on with today's uh, battle. This is epic music for this match. Maybe a bit too much, uh, too epic. Anyway, he starts off with his Persian. I was thinking more along the lines of him starting off with either Topu Koku or Mega Agron, but he decides to start off with his Persian. I was also thinking he might go for the quick parting shot, but he does go for the knockoff to get rid of my lefties, which is kind of weird. He does get a crit, which is not necessary at all. As I set up my Stealth Rocks, works, which will help me out later on in the battle. And he goes for the quick U-turn. No parting shot, which is, again, weird. Uh, I always, when I was playing with Alolan Persians, I packed a parting shot every week, and it was weird. He uh, switches into his Claydol, gets a bit of damage done with rocks, as I go for the knockoff, and it does quite a bit of damage to him, over half, and it was a good damaging shot there from Sandslash. But Sandslash is not the one that deals with, uh, uh, with Claydols. That is Malamar. As he goes for the rapid spin to get rid of those rocks, so they weren't as helpful as I think they were after all, really. Hey, I go for the knockoff here. Choice Scarf um, Malamar uh, destroys uh, practically most of this team, I will admit. Spoilers. But of course, uh, good knockoff kill on the uh, Claydol there. I switch out here. Because I am Choice Scarf, so I'm not going to do a lot of damage here. I go back into uh, Sand Slash as he Mega Evolves and goes for the... The, he uh, the Stealth Rocks. He wants to set up his own Stealth Rocks. That's what he wants to do. He wants to set up his own Stealth Rocks. And well done to him for doing that. 
as I go for the Earthquake. It doesn't do a lot of damage because of Filter, but it does do some damage, I will admit. It does do some damage because of Filter. And Filter's really hard to get my head around because it's a really power it's a really powerful ability and basically it stops super effective hits from doing super effective damage, really, and it's annoying for that reason. He went for the heavy slam there and did quite a lot of damage to me. I switch out into, into Manaphy because of how much damage he was doing with that heavy slam and he goes for the heavy slam again this time doing mm, not as much damage i will admit not as much damage I go for the surf here uh, to get some damage and i was debating uh, when i was uh, working with uh, gudra about uh, either doing surf or scold and we decided to go with uh, surf after all he rules me out into malamar and at this point I should expect, I should scarf outspeed him, and I can go for the superpower because he switched me in, and I can kill off his, uh, I can kill off his Mega Agron. So brilliant! Another kill for Malamar. Awesome. He switches into the top of Koku this time. Even with the attack boost I've just got, I don't think I'm doing too much damage with a superpower, so I'm going to switch out here. Literally, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm switching out here. I'm not doing with that. Vile Plume is the play, and that's what I want to go into. I want to go into Vile Plume. As he sets up his Dazzling Gleam, which does nothing to Vile Plume. And I get my HP back from uh, Black Sludge. I get some HP back from Black Sludge. As he goes for the U turn. Again, not doing that much damage to uh, Vile Plume. As he switches out into his Arcanine. In. I go for the strength sap to get some HP back. This is the first time I'm using strength sap, so this is kind of cool actually. I don't usually use this move. Even if it is sort of a brand new move to me, and I like it for that reason. I switch out here into Sand Slash uh, to allow him to just kill off Sand Slash at this point, because Sand Slash really has done a lot for me, and I'm allowing him to sack. Uh, I'm allowing him to sack it here. Sandslash was actually built to deal with Zygarde 10% form, actually, to tell you the truth. Sandslash was built to deal with Zygarde 10% form. I go for the Surf. I switch it into Manaphy here and go for the Surf. And the Surf does a lot of damage. It does not kill, though. Even with choice specs, it still does not kill, which is kind of annoying. I mean, I thought Specs would do more damage than Life Orb, and I, I'm guessing it did, really, in a way, but still didn't kill. He sets up his Sunny Day, and I went for another... I tried to go for another Surf, as he switches out into his Persian. And I go for the Surf here. And it does reasonable damage. Takes him down to around about half, but with Lefty's recovery, he's going to get his HP back... Uh, back over half and go for the knockoff which takes rid of my left there which gets rid of my choice specs and i go for the surf here problem is i don't have speed him anymore so i can't go i, I don't have speed him so i can't go for the u-turn and uh, uh do a bit more damage really which is annoying and i was sure choice specs into that surf he goes for the file play and that is the end of mana phase i believe but it's okay, because Manaphy did enough damage. Uh, Manaphy did enough damage for Malamar to come in. Malamar, the MVP of this episode, and do do what he needs to do again. Superpower, tree scarf, superpower, destroy. Hey, that's why I love Malamar. Down goes a low incursion. The sunlight goes down. And of course, he goes back into his top of Goku again. I'm not staying in. I'm switching out. There is no way in hell that I would stay in here. Uh, back into Vile Bloom. Back into uh, back into the threat here against his top of Goku. He goes for the Dazzling Gleam again. Does reasonable damage with the rocks up and get HP back from the Black Sludge. He goes for the U-turn again, and does okay damage, not a lot, but does okay damage. Switches into his Arcanine as 
Uh, with the amount of HP he has uh, taken off this Arcanine set, I am able to get the Sludge Bomb kill on the Arcanine, which is something I didn't think would happen with uh, Vileplume, but yep, yeah, I'm able to get the Sludge Bomb kill with Arcanine on the Arcanine set. So, you know, Vileplume is able to deal with something he would be usually scared of. He goes into a Psychod 10% form as he tries to set up the Dragon Dance. So he gets his speed and his attack up. But I go for the Strength Sap. So bye-bye attack stats. That's, and that's basically what it was necessary to do there. Get, by, get rid of those attack stats. He goes for the Thousand Arrows. It does reasonable damage. It does reasonable damage. But I've got Giga Drain. I can get I can get that HP back. And I do. I get just about half there. It was a crit. I don't know. I think the crit may have been necessary. I think the crit may have been necessary, really. But he goes for the Thousand Arrows again. And that one does a lot more damage. Doesn't kill, still. And I'm able to get the... Uh, uh, kill with the Giga Drain this time, probably because of the crit last time. And down goes his Psychod, uh, his Psydog. He switches into his Top of Koku. And with uh, lefties and everything else, I have like 80 HP left, which is great because. He goes for the Electrorium Z here, and somehow, I don't know how I did, I don't know how, but I live, I live the Gigabot Havoc. I honestly don't know how I lived. Like, it must have been like min-max damage or something like that, because it was a roll. It was a roll that I lived, and I lived, I got the Sludge Bomb, and I one-shot kill the Top of Koku. Which is brilliant. If I didn't live, I probably would have gone into Mega Electric, and uh, Mega Electric probably would have tried to attempt to finish off the uh, Top of Koku. Really, Mega Electric would have been the play. Really, if I didn't live, uh, because Blaziken's dying to uh, uh, Blaziken's dying to um, Dazzling Gleam, and so is Malamar. Really, so really. Uh, Mega Electric was the play, really. And if I had the opportunity, Malamar and Blaziken might have been able to finish him off. I don't know. Truly, it's about roles. And I don't really know what would have happened if Vileplume would have died. So, I was able to get my first win of the season, which I'm very, very happy about. So, thank you so much to Heavy Metal Pokemon for uh, having a great match with me. And thank you so much for him. Uh, for uh, allowing me to get a win. Uh, but that was a really good match and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and to tell you the truth, I didn't think a win was coming this season. So I'm very, very happy with that. Maybe I can hang with these IBL guys after all. Anyway, until next time, I'm Josh PH Games. Next time we take on Garchomp the God, another very good friend of mine from, uh, uh, from my, my days as a recapper. And, of course, also, I'm a recorder in his league, the PCL. So, this should be a really good, uh, this should be a really good match. But until next time, I'm just PH Games. Mindala Pokemon, get to us, uh, everybody get Pokemon. Good night!